design department for a consumer product company. So we're working through uh, different consumer products all day, from sketch to CAD to rapid prototyping to reality. So obviously, in my work, uh, CAD is a major uh, a major tool and helpful thing for us to not only visualize our designs, but then ultimately bring them to reality. For a long time, it was always, I would just go with NVIDIA. Um, and recently I've been reading a little bit here and there that uh, ATI has uh, become more integrated with SolidWorks. You know, I asked some uh, friends that have been in the industry and deal with you know, workstations and graphics cards, and they had all recommend the ATI card, and I was surprised at first to hear them say that. When I'm working on a big model like this, um, or something with a lot of parts, especially if I'm working with other designers or an engineer is there, and they need to see you know this part in here, I want to be able to get in there smoothly, and not you know have it jumping. It doesn't seem like a big deal until you're working all day on something like this, or this is the 500th revision or time that you've seen this and you're just sick of the model and you want to be able to get in there, see what you're working on, and get out, make changes, send the data off. It's, those are the times when these little things that slow you down or you know, slow your workflow um, become really annoying. I, I'm trying to get a feel for how the 1700 is handling this rather large miter saw assembly. The transitions in and out of these uh, tight zooms and rotations definitely not as it's not as smooth scrolling and in and out as the ATI 7700 card. Same miter saw assembly model with the ATI 7700 card. The first thing that I notice is that all these small details like the bolt heads and stuff like that, as I rotate the model, they don't block out. You can still see the detail, you know, look at this Phillips head for instance, as I rotate, you can, I can see it all the way through the rotation and zoom and stuff. Also, the zoom is a lot smoother coming in here versus the NVIDIA 1500 card that I was also testing the same model on. Now I'm able to get in here really tight and have a real smooth range of motion, which helps, first of all, not drive you crazy from seeing you know your model keep jumping, but it also will speed up your workflow throughout the day if I'm able to get in you know, and really look at what's happening in a particular section of my model. I'm, I'm much happier with the, the way that the ATI 7700 is performing right now, especially with this model. It's a pretty complex um, assembly. It has a lot of detail to it. And as I rotate it around here, I'm really, uh, I'm really impressed. I guess what made me switch was knowing that uh, ATI is putting an effort to integrate with the software that I'm using. I'm comfortable with the switch, and there's no reason to switch back to the NVIDIA.